Kia ora, everyone. Today we are playing The Binding of Isaac and we are going to smash the patriarchy. Well, actually more like the matriarchy, eh, since the goal here is to defeat mum. Believe me, if I could smash the patriarchy by playing video games all day, well, I would. So obviously we're starting off here playing as Maggie and we have already picked up the cancer trinket, which is an excellent boon for us. And the death card, which I might just use on the next boss. I see no real reason to save it for a long time. Um, I know some Let's Players who just pop it on the very next room. Honestly, I don't think this room is quite worth the trouble. Now, it would be great if I could get a little more speed. As you can see, I've already taken some damage to some zombies I fought earlier on this floor which you didn't get to see because I managed to screw up um, my window size ratio earlier. But that's okay because you guys wouldn't know about these mistakes unless I told you. So we have that. What have we got here? Ooh, skeleton key. Great pickup straight away. This is going to open up so many possibilities for us moving onwards. And it gives us a really cool little keyhole in the middle of our head. <laughs> Okay there. Um, so we are on the cellar one. This means we're going to have a bigger floor than usual. I would like to get some more money to make the shop viable. Um, of course, because we are not Isaac, we do not have rerolls available. But I am going to have a lot more HP to be getting on with. So I'm probably not going to want to take a deal with the devil unless it's really good. Um... I quite like Spirit of the Night would be one of the ones I would consider, maybe even Lord of the Pit, but I don't think I'm going to be taking anything much stronger than that. Um, Mum's Knife hasn't actually showed up for me in Deals with the Devil so far. I had one mildly successful run with it earlier, but I'm not sure that I would take it at this stage. I'm not really comfortable having so little health. So we'll just see. I mean, we might not even manage to earn one in the first instance. And what I might actually do is thin out Envy a little bit and then just pop the death card. Actually, why not just pop it straight away? There we go. Okay. Um, he should be dead very shortly. And we have a live bomb because the guy's generous like that, isn't he? Uh, now, I'm wondering about finding the secret room. We do have a judgment here, but I have no bombs, of course. Hmm, it's going to be interesting. Okay, tell you what. How about we go play the judgment, see if he gives us a bomb, and then we can check out potential places for the secret room. Actually, I have 99 keys. We might as well see what's in the shop first. Maybe they'll have a bomb there, and I can check the secret room. We just don't know, do we? Notched axe is never going to be something I'm interested in. Perhaps the spirit heart... We do have enough health for me to be comfortable on the first floor, though, so we are just going to play Judgment a little bit. What's he... Oh! HP, straight away. Well, thank you very much, Judgment. Of course, still can't find the secret room, what with no bombs, but, hey, you know, beggars cannot be choosers in situations like this. So we're going to head on down and fight the boss here. Apologies for the audio quality. Um, I will be getting a microphone sorted very soon. Once I manage to download the appropriate software with a little help from my more technologically savvy friends. Oh dear. Don't want to be taking damage against those flies. <laughs> Just doesn't look good on my resume. Which, you know, I hand to all prospective employers. Hi, yes, I can play Binding of Isaac with reasonable competency. You don't know what that is, of course, but, you know, I'm sure it will... Stand me in good stead when it comes to stacking shelves for you. Okay, and we've got famine just about dealt with here, and we're going to pick up a cube of meat, which I actually really enjoy as an item. Um, it's a solid orbital. Not going to hurt me in the slightest. Okay, do I go back and buy the spirit heart? No, I think we'll just hop on down to the next floor and save our money for the next shop there. There's not much worthwhile for us. Um, golden chests are going to be a definite um, option for us here. What with Skeleton Key, 
an item that I really like. It's so nice not to have to worry about keys this early on in the game. And I've done reasonably well with respect to not taking too much damage so far. What is this pill? Health up. All right. Excellent. Good to know. And of course, having Yum Heart is going to be extra special, extra special with Curse Rooms. Because you just have the option of replenishing your health straight away. We do have a tinted rock here, which I would love to be able to access, but again, no bombs. Just going to be something I'm wishing for repeatedly. What have we got? Oh, nothing at the end of this room. All right, well, we are going to go to the curse room, as I said. What have we got here? Live bombs. Not the kind of bombs I meant, game. Nevertheless, and we have the Bible. And what was, was this? A health up pill? Yes, it was. Okay, well, we'll take that. I'm more than happy with an HP upgrade for five cents. Uh, I don't think I'll end up taking the Bible. I know it's an instant mum kill, but that gets boring, doesn't it? If, if we just instantly kill mum all the time. I, I think it's, it's a good item for beginners who just really want to unlock stuff. I... Ooh, bombs, thank you. I am somewhat of a beginner, as, as you may have... Oh. Yeah, that was bad. As you may have noticed by my pen chant for taking easily avoidable damage. As I said in my last video, I really do like having loads of HP. You wouldn't know it by how much I squander it. But, you know, I'm just going to pretend that that's a thing that doesn't happen as often as it does for the sake of my pride. And here is our item room. Oop. I really don't like these meat guys. I'm going to use... Their own kin, the meat shield. <laughs> First level meat boy as, as a little bit of a protection against them, I guess. I feel like that's vaguely cannibalistic. My reflection. Not an item I like, especially if Ipecac's going to come up later for obvious reasons. Do I take it, though? My range is okay. I think I might just leave it. I don't normally leave item rooms unless there's something like Lemon Mishap, but my reflection is pretty pretty low down there. Um, yeah, even if I never picked up Ipecac, I just, I don't really see the benefit of my reflection, you know? It doesn't seem to be particularly good. And we are going to fight Goody, which is going to result in me taking some damage. Kind of unavoidable, really. If it goes fast like a fiend, whoop, and I am not. So a speed upgrade is Maggie, always... A necessity. And these flies are assholes. Come on, Goody, destroy them for me. Nope, you're not going to. You're not going to play along, asshole. Clearly not. All right, then. Well, we will just try and <laughs> prevent as much damage as possible. Thank goodness for my meat shield. Okay, now we've got two hearts left. It's a little bit worrying. A little bit concerning. So, hopefully Gertie should be dead soon. Oh! Alright, well. Not the best play there. Hopefully, we will be able to replenish our health a little bit on the next floor. I will go searching for the secret room, I think. Even if it's just to ensure that we get enough money for the next floor. Now... Hang on, we've been to the curse room and we didn't see it there. So, likely, yep, the secret room is right there. With three cents, which isn't going to be enough to do anything of value. So, let's just ditch my reflection and go to the next floor. Hopeful that our HP situation will improve after Gertie shat all over it. Oops. <laughs> Turrets. Some of my least favorite enemies. At least those guys don't have helmets, so you can still get them while they're sitting down there. And of course we are in the caves. So... Whoop. Hop it there. Yeah. I just lost my train of thought. Oh well. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are used to that by now. Oop. Should have not taken any damage there, but... Sometimes it's unavoidable, you know? Oh, a key. Just what we needed. What is in our shop? Compass. Okay, something I'm definitely going to want to take. For now, I am going to take the Spirit Heart. Maybe you think I'm being silly. Maybe you think it's sensible, given my play so far. Ooh, bombs. Okay, so if I pop two bombs, I should be able to get 
five bombs to replace them. That makes sense, doesn't it? Then economical play, just slowly getting my bomb numbers up to something I'm more comfortable with, as I was complaining about it earlier. Okay, fly dudes. And a dead end, which isn't great, but at least this room isn't one I'm likely to be in too bad shape after. Um, this champion will drop more bombs, which since there are two of them, I might as well pop down another bomb to get them, because, hey, it's not actually that much of a waste. One free bomb in exchange bomb bomb for a bomb. It's like eye for an eye, except considerably less violent. Why would you even take someone's eye for an eye, though? I mean, it just leaves the whole world blind, as the proverb goes. I'm not really into corporal punishment. <laughs> it's probably not really a relevant thing here, since I'm on my way to destroy my mother since, you know, she locked me in the basement, or whatever that is. <laughs> so I guess Isaac's a believer in corporal punishment. <laughs> but then, you know, you really shouldn't be sacrificing your children and sticking them down in a basement full of monsters now, should you? That's some bad parenting. To call sifts on them. Life bomb. Not a thing that I like very much. Another fly dude. He should be no problem. I would love to get a flying item at some point. You know, who wouldn't really? Flying items. Really good option in the game. Ooh, free key. Which I will go and get, despite having 96 and no real reason to worry about them. I'm just economical like that. I like to save my resources. Get as many as I can. Almost, of course, that resource is HP, which I just like to throw at the wall because, you know, it wouldn't be fun if the game was without risk. You know, if you knew for sure I'd win, where would the excitement be? You can always gamble on, you know, luck versus my natural skill. See how well I do. A chest inside a smaller chest. What could it be? A Kena bomb. That was unnecessary, don't you think? Unnecessary packaging. Ah, well. Hey, if the game wants to wrap items up pretty for me like that, they, they can, you know. I'm not going to object. I might drop a bomb down to grab this chest. Oh, especially now. Get a decent amount of money. Okay. Pop in the yum heart. Just to make sure. Oh, that was useless. Yeah, I, I do enjoy wasting my bombs like that. There we go. Now I'm at a bridge. So good. What is this pill? Hmm. I'm a little bit scared of it. What did we have in the shop now? We had a spirit heart. I know that. Ah, yes, the compass, of course. I will need some more money before I grab that, though. Range down. Shitty. But, hey. What can you do? Get some blind silkworms in here. This guy should not be too much trouble at all if I am not a dingbat about the whole thing. As long as I don't walk into them. Everything should be fine. You know, I am, I am quite enamored with this meat shield I have here. He, he's a good guy, my meat shield. I know that pill wasn't great, but we do have cancer, so it's not going to be a huge issue. And because I haven't unlocked the Polaroid yet, or even the chest, you know, it's not actually going to be... Ooh, secret room. It's not going to be an issue to hold on to this trinket for such a long time. Just staring death right in the face there, as I stood extra close. And made that dude blow up. You know, because just a risky playstyle. It's how I roll. As I say, where would the excitement be? What is here? Spirit Hut. Thank you for that. Okay. Moving upwards, because I do want to find the item room before we fight the boss. I don't feel quite secure enough in strength, speed, damage... A lot of things, really. Any item's going to help out Maggie here. She does start off extra slow. This cancer trinket, though, is making my life a lot easier. Alright. And we're almost back up to full health, which... Okay. Hmm. I'm not going to hold on to it. I am going to use it for the boss. <laughs> Alrighty. So, as I was saying... Yeah, I, I do really like having Yum Heart, just an easily replenishable source of HP. Okay, fistula. Alright. Okay, we're gonna split our fistula really quickly here and take a reasonable amount of damage on this room. But that's okay. 
Oh, I am in a, quite a safe zone at the moment, hopefully. They all just harmlessly bounce off the corner without actually getting hurt at all. Oh, I um, did not take damage from that guy, even though he tried. He, he was dedicated. But, oh, <laughs> that guy made up for it. He avenged his brother, his fallen comrade, by so mercilessly murdered. Whoop. It actually reminds me of a little bit of Silent Hill, in all honesty. You know, they look like monsters to you. What if these are just other children our mom chucked down in the basement, huh? What if? Okay, so we are going to go back and pick up Yum Heart and maybe hope to find the secret room because we really want to have that compass. It's going to be a great benefit to us moving onwards. means I don't have to dick around in a whole bunch of other rooms before finding where I want to be. All right, is it here? No, it is not. Okay, it's probably in that little pocket over to my left. It might be right beneath us. I think it's more likely over here. My instincts have been wrong before, so we are just going to see. Okay. Down it is, then. Just ignore my instincts, shall I? There we go. What have we got? Okay, enough money to buy the compass, which is going to be excellent. I will just shoot the fire in case there is anything else. And there is a single penny for us. Oh, I should really stop using royal pronouns, shouldn't I? You're not collectively responsible for my mistakes or my triumphs in this game. It's all on me. <laughs> it has been commented that I do tend to use the nomenclature of other popular Let's Players. That's not actually a huge problem for me. I, I have learnt part of what I'm doing now from them. Um, if it gets a little tedious for you, I do apologise. I will be hitting the stride of my own personal style relatively soon, I think you'll find my own charismatic personality will shine through any um, verbal texts or idiosyncrasies I've learned from watching other Let's Plays. Okay, Caves 2. Well, we shall see, won't we, if this is going to be a good floor for us. Okay, hmm, the item room's all the way over there. And the boss room is all the way over there. And the shop is all the way down there, so... Looks like it's going to be a while. There is a blood bank here, which I would love to abuse. If I could grab Nun's Habit from the shop, I would absolutely adore that. I might just come back and play this every single time I have Yum Heart ready. Okay. What I'm going to do is going to go down to the shop. And hope like hell there's some kind of battery or nun's habit there that will make me feel a lot safer about playing that blood bank ad infinitum for hopefully an HP upgrade. Of course, I'm not going to be able to do anything if we get the IV bag, which usually as Isaac I would just use unashamedly as a reroll pedestal. Um, of course, can't do that with Maggie. But I do like the Yum Heart as an item, as I was saying. I think it gets... A relatively bad rap, actually. It's not all that bad if you prefer a tankier style of play, as I so blatantly do. Oh, kill this guy. He's just hanging out next to me. He's like, sup? How you doing today? No, I'm going to cry on you and destroy everything you love. Alright, and this guy should drop... Ooh, tarot card. What is this? The moon. Okay, that's going to take me to the secret room. And it looks like the shop is going to be down and around. Oh, as Maggie, I do not like this. I do not like this one bit. I am way too slow to be comfortable doing this crap. Oh, that's, I can't get away there. Oops. Okay. Destroyed one of them. <laughs> Should make it a little bit easier. Moving onwards. Oh, God. It's a scary room when you're as slow as I currently am. Alrighty. Moving down to check out our shop. Okay, this is this is better. This is a room that does not require speed, but still apparently does require taking damage to get through. Okay, come on. Split in two. Here we go. Right, kill your brother here. 
and Yamhat has replenished. Turrets, okay. Nope, oh, that was unnecessary. Unnecessary damage. And again. Okay, you. In the center. No. You. You. Just die for me. Yes, make my life easier. Okay, now we just take them out one at a time. Try not to get hit again. There we go. Ah, <sighs> bomb for bomb is pointless. And we do have the battery. Oh, that was just bad. Can we just ignore that that ever happened, please? Can I bomb my way out of the shop is the thing. Oh, no, of course I have the moon card. Oh, I'm a ding dong. All right. Here we go. And we are fortunately going to have enough money to go and grab the compass. Okay. Got a fighter in our hands in this room. These guys aren't quite as fast as their counterparts, probably because they're blind. They have to sort of sense where I am by sound or smell or something. They don't look like they have noses. Maybe they sense where I am by taste. Possibly. Oh, and of course, I did have a blood bank here, which I completely forgot about for all my discussion of how I was intending to abuse it. I didn't even think that I could get more money for the shop there, but... Nevertheless, heading down to the shop, gonna buy a battery, and all will be well with the world. This is exactly why I wanted a battery, so I could abuse the blood bank. If I get another penny, I might come back there before finding a boss just to pick up a spirit heart. Nothing wrong with a little extra health insurance. Especially when you're playing a game like Isaac. Should I maybe change the name if it's, if it's Maggie? Say Binding of Maggie instead. Okay, now I will... Ooh, that's nice. Okay. <laughs> Battery is not going to recharge every time I get hurt. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to come over to the item room. And that is... Yep. A lovely tinted rock. I got so distracted by its glory that I took some silly damage. But, yeah, we've all... Oh, for crying out loud. We've all taken some silly damage in Isaac, as I was about to say. Taking silly damage again and again. Okay, more speed, more orbitals would be a lot better for my defense here. Okay, yum heart, restore my health, please. But I so foolishly, foolishly lost. I'm wondering if I should go fight the mini boss. It's not going to be Envy. And Envy's... Probably the mini boss that I'm not really a fan of. He doesn't really drop anything decent for me on a regular enough basis for me to like it. But as I say, it's not going to be him. So, ooh. Okay, bottle of pills. I'm not going to keep it in love, yum heart. I mean, if I was Kane, it would be a godsend. Range down. Screw that. Okay, moving onwards. No, duh. I want the yum heart. I need it now that I've just gotten the battery. All right, I am going to fight the mini boss. Let's see who it is. It is Ultra Pride. God damn. Okay. Not a lot of speed, but if I just stay away from the creep and the homing shots and really anything that could cause me damage just like that, it should be all right. Ultra Pride. Not a great guy. Um, he is going to give the left hand, which if I didn't already have cancer, I would actually pick up. I mean, if you're going to go to curse rooms for red chests, you might as well go all out and just double your chances of getting red chests. Is it double your chances? I don't know if it is double your chances. It, it does make your chances of getting red chests bigger, though, obviously. Oh, step on the creep, why don't you? Sensible solution to any problem. Oh, it's today, is it? There we go. Come on, dude. Now you're close to the end of your life. Stop throwing up on me. I don't like it. I know there's some people that are into that, but I'm not one of them! So stop it! Okay, he is almost dead. Please just die before hitting me again. Just just do it. I, no! Okay, we are going to pop the yum heart just because it's a little scary. Come on, man. You are so close to being dead. Just, just do it. Just... Cock it, will you? Okay. He dropped the left hand for our troubles, so that was not actually my ideal outcome. 
But hey, let's just go fight the boss. Give it all up as a bad job, shall we? Shall we? I am gonna just give this blood bank one more penny. No. Okay, I thought... I, I hoped foolishly that we might, might just get the much-wanted blood bag for our troubles, and then we could fight the boss with full health, and I would feel a lot safer. As it is, I don't feel particularly safe in this room. Okay, now that that asshole is dealt with, I'm going to push this guy onto the spikes, and he will die. And so will you, if I have anything to say about it. And I'm just going to push you onto spikes as well, because, eh. <sighs> Much better way of dealing with those guys. Okay, this is a somewhat scary room. I'm going to have to be extra talented and smart without dodging and not walk on the spikes. Okay, there goes one. There's the other. I love that I've got... <clears throat> I love that I've got the battery with this yum heart. It's it's going to make my life a lot more convenient. And we are going to be fighting Gertie. Not too bad a fight. I used to hate it, but then I kind of worked out the pattern of Gertie. And if you just dodge around to the side or even just circle her a lot, it makes everything a lot more pleasant to deal with. In all honesty, and cancer, the trinket, really helping a lot. I can't actually say how much I'm appreciating this huge rate of fire up. And I love that I have the battery because it's going to make replenishing my health so much easier. I don't just hold it over my head like a moron and then lose all the possible benefit of that. I haven't actually had a decent enough spacebar item to feel comfortable replacing Yamha as of yet. What have we had? My Reflection? That's not even a spacebar item. It's not going to do anything to make me feel safer. Oh, the other thing was Mum's Bottle of Pills. That was on the floor, wasn't it? Okay. Now, there's nowhere else I can fight on this floor, is there? I am going to go back and have a wee look at the shop again, just because I can't actually remember what's in there. Is there another Spirit Heart? Because if so, I might just grab it. And then I'll probably blow up the blood bank. Maybe a couple more plays of it would be prudent. I'm going to grab this bomb here. It would be great if I could find the second secret room and have it full of hearts. I have no idea where on the floor it might be. I noticed the first secret room tends to be surrounded by at least three other rooms a lot of the time. Um, that's not the case with the second secret room. I have no idea how to even go about finding it. Come on, just blow up. <sighs> My goodness. Hmm. Alright, well, with four hearts, I feel okay about blowing this up. Not exactly the outcome I wanted, but with seven cents, we might be able to get a sale item? I don't know. I'm always gutted when the blood bank doesn't pay out the way you want it to. Because I've had it pay out in one hit before, so... I guess, you know, can't be lucky all the time. And we are going to go down to the next floor, being very careful not to step on the spikes. Because, you know, I don't want to look like an idiot in front of you guys. Curse of Darkness. Well, that makes the compass we bought super helpful, doesn't it? All right. At least these guys shouldn't be too much trouble. And we're not going to bother getting the keys because skeleton key and there's one there for us as well. Okay, so wait, that was... Definitely a dead end. Okay. Down, dead end. Remember that, guys. And now we're going up to fight some brains and get cornered like a dingbat. It's not really like a dingbat. Is a dingbat a certain species of bat that goes ding for its echolocation? Okay, we're going to keep going on up here. Uh, oh, that was... Did you guys see that? Did you see that? That was pretty, pretty special, she says, as... He gets hit by a bloody nub. But, you know, it still was an excellent dodge. You know, the bad dodges, they don't take away from the good dodges. <laughs> Just like the bad experiences don't take away from the good ones. You know, don't make our happy experiences 
any any less special just because we have some bad ones. I am, of course, paraphrasing Doctor Who here. You may have noticed. Not as eloquent as I could have been in my pop culture reference. But hey. Oh no, I'm going to get cornered. That was a bit awful because I could see it coming and did nothing to prevent it. But hey. I hope this champion drops something nice for me. You know, I hope... He likes the time I've spent trying to make him feel special with all the attention. His brother clearly doesn't like it since, you know, he went out of his way to take some of my precious, precious HP. Okay, come on, dude. Come on. You're slowing everyone up. Green means go. So you could, you know, go faster. Just, just up and leave, man. Not many people actually like you here, you know. Can't even hit you. <laughs> it might help. If I could actually be a little more on target. <sighs> You're just going to take forever, aren't you? Because I'm not even aiming right. Homing shots would be useful in this situation. Kind of tempted to drop a bomb just so he'll die quicker. Instead of making me follow him around trying to get behind him. Which is a very difficult proposition because I'm not really fast enough for it. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, we got one hit. One hit there. And a penny. A penny for my pain. Alright then. Guts. Alright. Not bad. Are they guts though? They're not just guts. They're like intestine, liver. Small intestine, large intestine, and a stomach, perhaps. So, yeah, I guess, in the most literal sense, they are guts, aren't they? So we'll just keep on heading in this direction. This is a decent room. And we have discovered our boss. Which is good. What is this? Health up. Definitely a pill I prefer. <laughs> Alright, so we've remembered, kids, that, you know, boss is up and to the right. We're going to head back, do a little bit more exp explanation, exploration before we fight whoever our boss may be. And we didn't go this way, did we? No, okay. Yep. Inexcusable getting hit there. But hey. Stand next to this guy. Good brazen. I was going to say brazen hussy. Maggie's not really a hussy. She may be naked, but it's not of her own volition. Oop. Okay, hoppers and zombies. Not... A room I like, especially. Okay, that was probably a really dangerous yum heart use there. Could have caused some damage to be taken, but it didn't. So, here we are, and we're reasonably happy. Cuban meat did some good stuff there. Oop, I did not do some good stuff there. That's okay. It'll be all right in the end, and we will take care of this fellow. Battery. Godsend. Okay. Keep it me. Great work. And what is our item room? Holy water. Not especially great. And I note how the little message that comes with it is don't spill it. It's probably better to spill it if you're going to take damage at all. What is down here? I would love... Whoa, oh, to not do that. No, I would love to go to the shop. Ooh, the world card is not going to help at all on this floor. Okay, let's try and place the bomb here in case we do uncover a secret room. We did not. Maybe that was poor bomb placement. Maybe it wasn't. Okay, self-sacrifice room. Not worth it, in my opinion. At all. I mean, you sacrifice an unknowable amount of health for not much gain. Okay, there was nothing down there, was there? This was our starting room. Yeah, it was our starting room. Okay, so the shop might be in this direction? Mayhaps. Why am I going to the shop with only nine cents, you ask? Because I do silly things like that, and if I could buy an extra heart, it would make it all worth it. Except it wouldn't if I managed to lose more health than I could potentially gain. So what is this card? It is the Devil card. Okay then. Um, I definitely want to come back for the World card. If only I can remember where it is. Okay, this this tinted rock 
could potentially be very good for us is a golden chest. We can open it. Okay, cool. Um, yep, I am just going to make my way through this room. The golden chest crate is being not particularly obliging. I wonder if I can use one bomb to get those two bombs. Do you guys think that's possible? Or am I just going to look like a big dingus and have to use two bombs? No, I can. Okay, cool. Is it going to be worth going to shop down here? Probably not. But hey, here it is, and we're only fighting guts at the moment, so it's not going to be. Well, I guess I should say that the entire digestive tract, they are, I guess, you should really pay more attention to the credits of the game and actually watch what all the enemies are called. It's champion. Might do some good things for us. Ball bombs, okay. Well, it wasn't a bad thing. Heart. Yum heart. Shop. Greed. Popping the devil card. Silly of me? Probably. But I do want to get this over with. And backtracking for the world card is not hugely appealing at the moment, considering the boss is quite far away. And hey, maybe... We'll get more money doing this. I mean, if you have to fight greed at some point, it might as well be now. I would still love to pick up a nun's habit. It would make my yum heart so much better. Or just a better spacebar item. Though it would take a bit to get me to get rid of the yum heart, let me tell you that. Um, oh, did we go down? Might as well. Let's, let's throw it all at the wall. Act like a dingus. Recharge our yum heart. Oh, and we walked in the cookie. Again. Okay, curse room. Do we? Do we do it? It's only two hearts. I I kind of want to. Let's let's just do it. Let's throw it all at the wall. Balls to the wall for some fucking spiders. Not a great decision, all told. Let's just forget that was ever a thing that happened. Grab our world card and go try really hard not to die. Best strategy of all, really. It's trying hard not to die. This hasn't been a great floor. Um, the pickups, not huge. And of course we fought greed, so we didn't get anything decent from the shop. That pillar's ranged down, I think. Who are we fighting? Loki! Oh no, it's war. Why did I think that was Loki? It's not Loki. We might very well die here, guys. I hope you realize that. But hey, perhaps in some schadenfreude you have enjoyed watching me fail as I have. And we're probably going to get second level Cuban mate, which is nice. An orbital that fires. Always a welcome companion. Oh, and he is down to walking stage. And I am probably not fast enough to get away. But we're going to try and get away, aren't we? Gonna cut it down to the wire! Oh, there we go. Alright, well that wasn't the best I've ever done, shall we say, but I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you'll come back for more in my next Let's Play. Please feel free to leave any critique. I am reasonably new at this, so be kind, but I'm only going to improve if you guys give me suggestions as to how I should improve the video quality and even gameplay etc. Okay, thank you again for watching, and hopefully you enjoyed it. Bye!